Leaders from the world's 20 most developed nations are meeting in Brisbane, Australia for their annual summit. Overshadowing the economic agenda at this year's G20 is Russia's aggression in Ukraine and Russia's threat to Europe's territorial integrity. On today's press review for Ukraine Today, we take a look at what's been making headlines around the world in the lead-up to the G20. Uh, we start with Reuters. They lead with Ukraine and Russia take center stage as leaders gather for G20. Uh, Matt Siegel reporting from Brisbane writes, the summit is setting up as a showdown between Western leaders and Russian President Vladimir Putin, following fresh reports of Russian troops pouring into eastern Ukraine. Attending the event will be a cohort of world leaders that have warned Russia over its true presence in Ukraine, including German Chancellor Angela Merkel, U.S. President Barack Obama, and host Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott. Also causing a stir at the event is Russia's controversial move to send a convoy of warships into international waters near the G20 event in Brisbane. Next, from the Financial Times, there Jamie Smith gives us five things to look out for at the G20. She writes that the agenda will include global growth, tax avoidance, climate change, Ebola, and also shirt fronting. Now, the first four are fairly straightforward, but shirt fronting needs a little explanation. The term shirt fronting is used in Australian rules football to describe an aggressive tackle delivered to the chest of an opponent. Shirt fronting is also the term that's been used by Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott to describe what he will do when he sees Russian President Vladimir Putin, basically saying that he will tackle Putin. Smith writes that Abbott is a former boxing student, Putin is a judo expert, and Abbott is furious with Putin over the shooting down of Malaysia Airlines Flight MH17 over Ukraine. So that's definitely one meeting to watch for. And just like yesterday, we'll finish by looking at TASS, Russia's state-owned news agency. Uh, there, the article gives readers a detailed understanding of what Putin will be up to at the G20. Putin will take part in an informal meeting of leaders on Saturday morning, uh, later in the afternoon a working meeting, and on Sunday a working lunch. The article also mentions that Putin will hold separate meetings on the sidelines with leaders from Brazil, China, France, and Britain. The Russian state article does not mention any of the buzz surrounding Putin actually being there. There's no mention about Tony Abbott's shirt fronting, Russia's navy buildup near Australia, or that the crisis in Ukraine is likely to take center stage, as Reuters suggested. So that's all for this week from Ukraine Today's newsroom. Join us again next week for more press analysis. From Kiev, Ukraine, I'm Stephen Breeze.